Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay Lands of Lore, the Throne of Chaos. When last we left off, we'd explored the first floor of the Dracul's Cave, found Laura in the pod room and rescued her, and also saw the effects of poison, and how poison, if everyone was afflicted by it and you had no way to cure it, would most likely eventually kill your entire party. For now, we're on a floor that seems to be full of cave dwellers, as the manual says. Ooh. Hmm. Lock. What kind of lock? Hmm. Nope. Lock. Not gonna tell us. Now, if we get Kieran to try and unlock this, he'll eventually figure it out. Laura's much better at that. Have an oil flask, which is very useful in here. A star, which is a ranged weapon. Another star. And the sapphire eye. Hmm. Empty. Now, you need the either the emerald or the sapphire eye, I believe. And um, the reason why one of them is on one floor and the other is on the other, I believe, is so that you can definitely get at least one of them. Because you need them on this floor. Now, we don't want uh, to go just there just yet. We want to keep exploring this way for now. There is a switch here. It has this area, where you actually use the uh, two eyes in question. For now, however, I think we shall explore a little to the west. Whoa! Oh, we have ended up facing east. Let us face west. Ah, they're over here. Not good. We don't want them to uh, surprise us like that. We need to uh, cure Bacata there, I think. Excellent! I know that um, Bacata's actually pretty suited to being a rogue because of the fact that he can equip two weapons, but I always end up having uh, Bacata be a fighter. Purely because he has the ability to hold two weapons. Is there anything down here? A secret door, perhaps? No, it's literally just an area where there are monsters. That's fine. No rat men, you'll notice. Rat men Whoa. are pretty exclusive to the first floor. You won't find it. Oh! Ow, there are more of them! Didn't we just come from here? Did they respawn? That is an interesting question, and I'm going to test that by now heading this way, Whoa. and then going west. Yes! It would seem that these cavemen respawn. Let's Whoa. check. We go back, we uh, go west, and uh, yep! Cavemen respawn! Did not know that! An unlimited supply of cavemen here! Limited supply of cave dwellers if you wanted to actually just farm fighting experience or something else, but uh, we don't want to do that. Whoa. What we're going to do is uh, we could wait for them to get to us and then we'll move on. It's all experience. There we go. Now we want to head north. That's where we want to go. For these. This looks like it does something. Hmm. Is this one of the Droracle's ancestors? No. No, it is not. Really? Quite a stroke of genius. It was a guess as to which one was actually the one that we uh, wanted to use. Now, where is the emerald? There we go. Splendid. Oh! I was wrong about the rat man. Here's a rat man. There are some on this floor. Now, I remember in the um, first time I did it, I went down the emerald path, which is a uh, path heading east. I'm going to head north this time, which is normally the route that I take, as I recall, when I uh, played through when I when I was younger. There is a difference to uh, what you get as to which pathway you go down. Oh, there is a, uh, there's a chest there that we want to get over here. Let's have a look. Something's spawned behind us. Oh, hello, Ratman! That was sneaky. That was very sneaky. Not sneaky enough, though. I can hear all the sounds of uh, people moving. I presumed that something would happen. And another one! Not today, Ratman! Also, Mage is really going up slowly. Hmm. Lock. Well, let's see what our lot picking skill can do. Oh, first time. There are silver coins in here. Excellent! And a salve. Nothing behind us. And a treant stick. It's 
a little better than an actual, um, stick. Hmm. Empty. Oh, fair enough. Nothing else in here. Let's just rest and move on. I think actually it's Spark we need to use to improve, uh, your, uh, magic capability. Oh. Where did you go? I saw you there. Aha! You went in that secret door. Here's the first secret wall of the game. Now uh, we need to uh, use some magic here, most certainly. But there's going to be a lot of fighting here. There we go. The most important threat, however, has now been defeated. There's another one, though. There! There you go. And another um, rat man there. But we bested them. We could rest here. That might be a potentially silly idea. But we could... Oh, yep. Ah, from behind us. From behind. They do appear through secret doors. There are some stairs down. And here is a way further along. Don't quite remember where this goes. I know full well that um, we cannot actually go this way now. You'll notice it's actually sealed off. It's actually sealed off. We have gone past the point of no return in going on the other pathway. We can't actually go that way anymore. There was something over here, though. Yeah, we haven't explored fully this way. What's over here? Probably not a lot. Ooh, a leather jerkin. There was something. Hello, there was also a rat man. How are you? Do you wish to get this sword in your everything? And thus, the rat man got the sword in the everything. And it hurt. All right, we want to avoid the uh, spinning trap. We also want to go through the secret door here. Now, which way you go determines... Whoa, what happened here? I don't know if I've already been this way, but oh man, that's a lot of enemies. A lot of enemies. Oh! We might want to back out here. We might want to back out here. We seem to be doing relatively okay, actually. There we go. Finally got rid of them all. We definitely want to heal, though. Wow, that was a lot of enemies. And, uh... Oh, we haven't already... We haven't been down this route. That's why I was thinking, wait, this is the way towards the actual stairs? No, we just haven't been this way. Bronze rings were used to hold witches. Were they? Bronze rings were used to... Were they? Huh. I don't even remember that one. Now, here is a, uh... That does not appear to be the way to open it. What, just clicking it? Hmm. Lock. Well, let's see what the lockpicks can do, eh? First time. Here is an aloe leaf. The mace bouncer, which is actually very slightly better than the uh, sledge. The freeze scroll. The freeze scroll. Right clicking on a portrait will learn the spell. The freeze spell. Which, uh, Laura is actually incapable of using, and the Silver Goblet! Oh. Turns out I must have gone this way the, uh, last time as well. Here is the Silver Goblet. The Silver Goblet uses a tiny amount of magic and heals you completely. I was originally actually planning on going the other way to get the other item, which is the Jeweled Dagger. It's just a really, really effective, uh... Melee weapon. We're really effective melee weapon. But, uh, going this way is fine. Because that means now that, uh, we didn't actually need all of that ginseng. We will keep this, uh, silver goblet on hand. I don't know if it actually uses your magic skill. But the free spell certainly does. Also, here is a, uh... Let's actually use this, shall we? Let us actually use this. And then back away. Back away, because, uh... That is a, uh, that is a trap. And it will activate every time you use it. Those there fire things. So, we just want to, uh, not use that anymore. 
There is also something here that we can use. There were stairs down, but there is actually something we can do that's better. If we throw a rock at this, it activates the switch. And we get access to this worn key. I don't quite remember what the worn key is used for. And there is also a switch on this wall, too. And I don't think you want to use that switch. But, I suppose we could try. Let's, uh, save and press the switch. Doesn't do anything. Or does it? Nope, switch doesn't do anything anymore, because we've already used it. So, let us now, uh... Hello! You all reappeared, didn't you? Let's use freeze. It just does a small amount of damage in an area, I might add. It is an area of uh, effect ability. It uses all of Kieran's magic. And I'm not sure how good a job it does of actually improving it. But with that said, we should now head down to floor three. Floor three is, um, very difficult. Because you're pretty much fighting against time. Where is, uh, what we need before we go down is the silver goblet, the worn key, and a pair of lockpicks. Let's go. Now, floor three has not as nice music as floor two. Because floor three has something bad about it. A worn lock. Worn lock, worn key. Oh, the walls closed behind us. Has it? Well, it's, uh... Oh, that's bad. I don't know if there's actually anything in the other area. But uh, I don't think there was, if memory serves. There is a pit here. The good news about this pit is it's not real. Which is handy. The pit is not real. But we need to move quickly in this area, primarily because there is an enemy that is uh, very challenging indeed. Here, however, is an oil flask, the Rapier Ripper, which is actually even better than what we're currently using, so we'll uh, swap that out. And Scale Mail. Now there's some protective armor. And another oil flask. Hmm. Empty. Now, I don't think there's anything else in that uh, little area where you open that lock, but uh, we need to move quickly in this area because there is an enemy that has not appeared yet that will. Also, here's the uh, Shining Star. We'll take that. Here they are! Just need to uh, make some space here. The uh, Flying Spiders, as they are called in the manual. These Flying Spiders have the capability to poison. And there are a lot of them. There are a lot of Flying Spiders. Also, they just appeared out of nowhere. I'll have you, uh... Note, they appeared out of absolutely nowhere. There is, however, a switch on this wall that will open up another area. Right here. Now, we actually have the item that we need for this area. Here's another scavenger. We want to get rid of this really quickly. We don't want to use our magic to do so. Because there are a lot of these um, flying spiders here. Oh, hello! One of you has appeared behind us. I don't quite know how that happened. Here is the saber cutter. It gives some protection. Quite a bit, but it's actually... It's actually a fair amount of protection, that. I'm actually tempted to have you use it, purely because uh, you don't have a shield. We also want to keep our eyes peeled for secret doors, like that one. Like that one there that I almost missed. Almost, but not quite. Here is an axe, and you will also note that our inventory is getting filled with uh, things that we can't carry. So we need to actually make some room. I don't think there's actually that much uh, more inventory-wise that we need. What should we drop? We'll drop a rock. We don't need this rock. We have plenty of things that we can use to weigh things down. You can hear all the flying spiders. That's because there is an awful lot of them. There is a lot of flying spiders. 
Oh, there's one, actually. There's one. Hello. Goodbye. Now, we don't have what we need for this. Oh, actually, I think we do have what we need for that. There's one behind there, too. This area was a lot harder than I remember it being. Um, well, rather, rather, it's uh, not as hard as I remember it being than when I was younger. Because uh, when I was younger... It does not fit. I'm not, I'm not sure that key actually fits in anything, actually. I don't think it actually fits in any lock whatsoever. Also, time to use the freeze spell here. To get some uh, magic damage in. Kieran's rogue skill has increased. Excellent. That's what I was waiting for. Makes him uh, more capable of killing these uh, spiders. I can't remember exactly what uh, level of this uh, freeze... No. Past, I don't have enough magic. No, you don't. And that's what happens if you try and use a spell when you don't have enough magic. Especially with Bacata. We need to go find this key. And I believe this key is over here somewhere. Oh! Hello, you just appeared out of nowhere. Literally. Literally appeared out of nowhere. Let's use a spark spell on you. Didn't actually do that much, but that finished it off. Do you think there's magic in this chest? Maybe. Oh, that key is used for that. The red key. And an aloe leaf, which we don't really need. Boots. There is... Oh, hello. Turn around and there you are. I've been poisoned. You have indeed. Let's use Freeze 2 here. Has a frost effect and pretty capably kills all of them. What else we got in here? A oil flask, we can use that hmm. right now. Empty. Hmm. We can use ginseng here, actually. It will cure you. And we'll be able to take the boots with us. Not that we need the boots, necessarily. There are enough boots now for every single member of the party. Let's have you, uh... Hmm. Amp there we go. Let's have you actually, uh... Go back into, uh... Proper, um... Face movement there. Alright! We have a red key for a red door. Or rather, a red hole in the wall. We'll take the aloe back. And I do believe this is the uh, way out. There you go. Way down. But we have a little more exploring to do before we uh, leave. Mainly this way. There is a small puzzle which we need to solve. That wall seems strange to me. It does seem strange. Seems very strange. What if we were to put something on here, like a shirt or something? Oh, it's gone. Alright. What if we were to put an item in here? Like any kind of item. Say, let's put an aloe leaf in here. And then make it disappear. Alright. What if we do that? Oh, it's still there. Oh, fair enough. There is a puzzle there. I cannot remember what it is. Also, there are two of these, so freeze one. It'll improve the magic, if nothing else. I don't remember how much it improved. Five magic points. A little less than Kieran. He's getting there, though, with his mage level. Okay, I have no idea what that puzzle does. I cannot remember at all. But if we do stay here, they will keep spawning flying spiders at us. And that's, uh... Not really good for uh, our long-term survival here. Hmm. The wall is strange. Can't remember the puzzle for that. There's also a whole area here that we just haven't been to. Hopefully it wasn't that way. I get the feeling it wasn't, though. But if it is, we can't go back, and uh, I think we picked up everything that was really important here. So, when we come back, folks, we have a full inventory, which is something we will get quite used to, and it's... Oh, hello! Here's another one. We'll just deal with this quickly. Use Spark here, I think. Just improve our magic a little more. And another one! This is the sort of thing that can happen when you, uh, stay on this floor a bit too long. But, uh, I'll catch you next time, folks. For when we come back, Floor 4! And I'll see you then, folks. Later.